Hey guys, welcome to the channel today. Today we're going to be trying out Ito's Wireless Wash and Wax right here. No water. Pretty much what it says too. It's 100% um, it's all natural blend by gradable cleaning agent. It's got Kanuba wax in it, polymers to work to uh, effectively wash and wax your vehicle in one easy step. And what else we got here? It says it leaves a mirror-like finish. It's got a UV protection in it. Um, you can use this in between your washes and also you can um, dilute this which we're gonna do that too I'm gonna show two different ways of using this product 100% and a diluting way with a, a, a foamer we'll try it out first time trying it out first time trying it out in a foamer too um, pretty much just make the videos as I go so if you guys see any mistakes I make or something like that you guys can kind of learn from us we'll learn from me and um, and if you guys ever use products like this, you can let us know in the comments or your favorite product. Yeah, so pretty much we can dilute it. And what we're going to do too, and basically for 100%, you're going to want to shake it well. And you want to apply it on a cool service only. Work a panel at a time. And then what you're going to do is you're going to have a couple towels. You're going to wipe the product, do one swipe one way in one direction and then you flip it over for the other directions or you can just check your towel make sure it's not real dirty and then you maybe say two swipes and then flip over and then you're gonna have another towel to dry the product off and um, I'm gonna try like a couple different ways you can even dry it even after that steps um, so yeah be pretty cool and then we're gonna be using a IK foamer right here and what we're gonna do is What's nice too on their bottles for the waterless wash is they have a line marked right there. That is two ounces. I checked with another bottle and stuff, some measurements. So that's two ounces. And so what we're going to do is we're going to add four ounces in our RK foamer. And then we're going to add 14 ounces of water. So that will give us 32 ounces. So that's going to be pretty good. That's what we're going to try. And that should give us a ratio like one to ten something like that one uh, part product one part water I mean we can you can always experiment to more product a little bit less water stuff like that but that's what we're gonna go with and try it out four ounces with 28 ounces it was 32 so all right we'll open this up and we'll get everything set up so we're gonna shake it out real good Gearing set. Hopefully, you guys can see pretty good. Right here, this is a milliliters. Up here is about 60 milliliters. That will give us two ounces. Something like that. It's pretty close. I like the color of the product. Pretty good. Just add a little more just for the heck of it. And then, then our full strength. Just put your nozzle in there. There we go. Add my water. Okay, we got our water in there. I'm at about 35. I put a little bit more of the product in here. I mean the numbers don't have to be exact, it's my opinion. And we're gonna pump this up, like I said, we're gonna do this in a couple ways. Try out this IK foamer. First time using it also. You can use that for your wheel cleaner too. Dilute it, save some product. Alright, let me get set up. Well here we go. Is the dog gonna help? <laughs> Set up, guys. Sorry about that. Okay, we're gonna try it right here on the fender. It's had a cool service. I got the sun out a little bit, but hey, sometimes you can't just get a nice cloudy day to do this stuff. But we're gonna try it out. We're gonna spray on there pretty good. I'll say, you know, use as much as you like. So you don't have no dry, dry spots. There we go in there really good and then what we're going to be doing is taking our towel as best we can so it's pretty I'm going to dry it 
how we're just gonna run it across. Look at that. You can see the product right there. Mini got right there. Flip it best you can. Wipe it, and then we're gonna flip it around with the dry side and kind of blend it in. Wow, that's nice. Stuff works. I'm gonna spray some more down here. Flipping it best you can. Try not to wipe by no some dry spots. You know what I mean? Work it in the best you can. But look how clean that is. Wow. Check that out. That's a hundred percent. Got a little smear. Just go like that. Alright, let me get set up and we'll do the hood and we'll use the foam cannon. The foam cannon. The eye foamer and see how that pans out for us. Another thing too, you're not gonna want to use this product if your car is really dirty. Just if it's little light dirty, uh, dusty, uh, if it's real dirty, like a lot of spots on it, you're gonna want to rinse it off and then use this product to get your dirt off. You can see the hood. I got water spots, got caught in the rain. And then it's pretty much dusty, you can see. Hopefully you can see that the camera's picking up. And they got the back. I'll show the product on that. Just give you guys a little quick view. It's not filthy. It just got, you know, some dust on it, some water spots. Sitting in the rain. Alright. Alright, we'll get set up and we'll keep going. Shake it up. First time using it, so let's try it out, guys. Let's see how well this product foams. To eat those waterless wash on this if it does foam first time I got while sprayed it's not a foamer I'll check that out it's got different different nozzle actually that I can try foam it really foams up a little bit but this is a uh, the different nozzles has a dry foam wet foam more like a wet foam and that's what we're gonna want for this um rich this lawn. It's not really aiming for foam with this product we just want it wet so we can uh, apply it dang okay we get some clean areas on the top make sure we're good I know this makes you nervous you don't scratch your car up and basically we're gonna Drag it down. That yeah, looks good. So the car just has a dust on it. See? So pretty much you can use the product either way. See, check out the results. You can uh, use it full strength, or if you like to do it in a, a sprayer, it doesn't have to be that sprayer, it could be a regular sprayer that doesn't foam. That's pretty good. That's nice. Keep checking your towel for debris. Make sure everything's good. I said this vehicle just got a dust on it. Look at that. Wow. Look at that shine, guys. Doesn't even streak that much. Get in there. That's pretty good. Check that out. That is nice. real quick to show you real fast then we'll test this product out on the on the back we can even spray it down with some 
real quick they're a quick detailer any detailer you like if you want to help get some of your, your spray some spots of course we're going to want to start next time on the top work way down but for the video i want to do the fender and the hood to kind of show you guys but then you can even real quick if it comes out There you go. And if you like, real quick at the end, go with your uh, a quick detailer. Doesn't have to be Ethos. First time using Ethos too. I'll do a separate video on it. This has Penuba wax also, but blend it in there. Now I got the sun is out, so I mean it's working good with the sun out. Sometimes you just gotta do it. Look at that. Nice. That's nice. Oh wow. Looks good. So these are just some of the steps, guys, that you can do to uh, get your car clean. Now this per is perfect for a car show. Alright, let's get set up and go get that dirty. Finish the whole vehicle and then we'll check out. All right, now we're gonna. I'm gonna show you this dirtiest spot right here on the vehicle. We're gonna use foam. We'll use the little foamer. I like the foamer better in my opinion. You're gonna get a little bit of water. And uh, same thing. I'm gonna start here. Look at that. Dang. Flip it around. You're gonna use a few towels, that's for sure. Grant, I still gotta do there, it's gonna drip. I just wanna show you guys. Look at that. I don't wanna show the whole process of cleaning the vehicle. Check that out. I don't even see a scratch. That's awesome. All right, we'll go full strength right here. Clean spot on top. Oh. Ooh, my allergies are kicking. Full strength. Like pressure. I'm gonna stop before it goes. I'll try go on the dry spot. Wow, look at that. Flip it over. That's pretty good. We got some water spots. Is it getting any water spots out? Let's see. Oh yeah. Looks good. Check that out. Alright guys, I'm going to finish up the vehicle and we'll look at it and have my final thoughts on it and maybe some other ways you can use this product. But uh, yeah, I like it. It's working good. This will be good for uh, cleaning up real quick for a car show. Alright everyone, we're all done using the Ethos waterless system on here. Check it out. It looks good. came out nice guys works pretty good I like it I did go through some product I used about I think about 10 ounces I'll show you guys but, uh, let's look at it like I said too after you do use this process if you want to do a detailing spray you get any if you have any splatter a little spray from using the product you can now I did get I, I am doing this in the Sun it is hot out and if you, I do recommend if you use this product when it's hot out in the sun, if you have no choice, um, panel at a time, uh, they'll put it on there and uh, make sure your panel you know, stays wet and then dry it off with the towel in the process. Yeah, that's the key. You might have to wet it a couple times, especially in bigger panels. Like on the one door, on the door on the other side, usually the sun hits it a little bit. Um, we did a section at a time, I wet it and I started drying a little bit of sections. Like say if I got this part dry, you can see the, the product was starting to kind of dry out a little bit. I just resprayed it and put it on there. And that's one reason why I did use a little bit more product. I wanted to keep everything uh, wet. So, but uh, yeah, other than that, it's working out pretty good. We used our foam canner. I don't know, man. It didn't. I don't know. I have to do some more reading on this. I think it came with different tips. First time using it, 
I have to see well, have some more process on using this, this right here. But it did work good at keeping the paint on the wet. And then uh, water this wash right here, you can see how much we used. We used about 10 ounces and plus two, remember, I also used this. I filled this up twice, so we used about eight ounces in here, I believe. So we used this, I filled this up two times, and that's how much I have left. I have over, a little over 15 ounces left on this. So yeah, about around, I don't know, rough guess, about 10 ounces, guys. So, uh, yeah. And that will be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, yeah, let me know if you tried this product or any other waterless products right here. It's kind of hard holding the, sorry, holding the camera and uh, trying to do this. And um, yeah, hopefully the video, the video will come out great good. So you guys let me know how the footage is and, and the angles and stuff like that. I'm trying to get better. But yeah, that's about it, guys. So uh, yeah, like and share and comment and subscribe if you like what you see. And you guys have a great day. And I thank you for watching these videos. I appreciate you guys. Later.